Hey friends, Wayne over here at the Ram Man Inc. Don't forget the ink. Here it is on a Sunday. It's like 9.20 in the morning. I'm an early riser. I've been up for hours. Military taught me that the early bird got the worm. Well, I don't know if he got the worm, but he got something. Today, boys and girls, we going to talk about Imperials. And for a couple reasons. Number one, I just got back from a trip to Mississippi, out there to a, a Trucks Gone Wild mudding event. Bought a monster truck there, too. And I found a 63 Imperial on the side of the road that's that Sea Aqua mist or whatever it is beautiful so i want that's one reason the other reason is i put together a special kit for a 65 that of course requires a large five and a half inch bolt pattern the imperials typically got the biggest heavy duty items like uh, d200 barons a a5 and a3s and uh, everything's really beefy. So anyway, back to the point. So we've got an Imperial. Well, b before the pin caliper set up, really, the Mopars, anything before that, which means 69 on the C bodies and 70 on everything else, uh, the uh, disc brake systems, they were just uh, junk. They were the first attempts and nobody didn't know nothing. So, once we got to the pin calipers, see this great big old setup right here? This is for a 70 Imperial. The real deal factory parts. Here's this great big old spindle, A5 bearings, A3 out on the outside. That's D200 bearings. Once again, the Imperial always got the best of everything. Great big gigantic steering arm, ball joint, biggest ball joints that put put on cars also. So here we go. Here's that spindle. So well, what the hell are we going to do with that, boss? Well, that's our backbone because let me tell you something. Let me tell you something that nobody knows. And the only way you can find out is by playing with your parts. When you play with your parts all the time and rub your parts, scratch your parts, you find out things like this. So, here's how we get our PhD plus on Imperials. This is a 70 through 72 Imperial spindle. This setup is mid 60s, early 60s. Drum and disc. Now, how the hell do we take that out and get that in? Well, the good Lord's blessed us, the parts God. Now pay attention. They all use the 778 ball joint since 57 on the Imperial. Same thing there. So we're good to go up top, boys and girls, but look, down below, whew, shit. So we got this great big old freaking behemoth this screw in is the early style through 66 1960 through 66 great big old monster i'm telling you the imperials were built to outdo everybody else that was their main goal and here on the bottom we've got this one right here 
they went to the push-in. I guess because little let labor intensive, they could pre-install them, whereas these are thread installer, are you with me? So this screw-in is a 727, and this later push-in is a, a 70, a 25 number. So there we go. So as you can see now, they's a little bit different. But I'm not sure that they're all that different. Play some mind games with you. This goes on there. And that goes on there. Now, this is way big. So, this must be bigger. Right? Yes. And you look at those tapers. So what's going on here? Well, shit, they're, they're different. They're not going to work. Holy shit. And if you measure them, the tapers are the same and the difference up top is only about 10 thousandths. But let's go to part playing time. Remember now, boys and girls. Giant Screw Daddy is the early one because they like to labor. And push in is the later style. There they are. So, there's our thread, and there's our thread. So, what we want to do, though, is we want to remove our 60 and up spindle. and set it aside for safekeeping. We want to bolt in the spindle set up from the ram man. Here's where we run into our trouble. Holy shit, ram man! There ain't no trouble. Even after two scotches, I... That actually goes on there. That's right. It goes on there. Now, I figured this out years ago, and I've never shared it with nobody. Never... Shared it with nobody. I don't know if anybody else knows. Coming in from the big side. Coming in from the big side. Since the difference in diameter is so minute. But the tapers are basically identical. The tapers are basically identical. It will go up, just not as quite as far as the factory ones, but nobody ever saw that. But it's plenty of room, obviously, to get the nut on and even the keyway. Right there. This is playing around with parts and all that. And this is something that newer people will never find out. 
you cannot take in and see all of these different things on a computer. I think you have to touch the parts. So, well, Wayne, it'll bolt in. Well, what about some of that other shit? Golly there, Jeeper. We help. The steering bins are approximately the same. The steering bins are approximately the same. This arm is about one inch longer. Which is no big deal because you tie rod ends. They're all hard to find, but you can find them at rare parts. That's my plug. Or these Imperials and C body ball joints and tie rod ends, rare parts. And then you come down to the very last one. And I don't have a tie rod end with me. But I think the last little doubters will go, well, wait, what about the size on that? You didn't think about that, you dumb shit. Yeah, I did. Here's a pen for reference. Well, golly, they, gee, Grandpa, them's about the right same size, ain't they? So, in summary, if you can get a hold of some pin caliper imperial spindles you can bolt on some of the finest max power disc brakes on your 1960 and up imperial god bless you god bless america and happy moparin